Hi, and welcome back. This is the bonus feature using IOLCA or Environmentally Extended Input Output LCA or Economic IOLCA. It's got a million names, but it's basically a financial based LCA model. Um, so if you'll remember from the slide deck in the lecture, um, you're going to need to download, most likely, OpenLCA. Um, you can also try to do this on your own if you're good at coding, but probably downloading the software is a good bet. Um, so, you know, go to the OpenLCA website, download the software. Um, you're also going to have to download the impact assessment methods. Um, and yeah, I, I'll let you figure out how to do all that because you have to probably register. And anyway, I've already got it downloaded. Um, but do download the software, download the impact assessment methods and any other databases, quite frankly, that you want to do. They do have some free inventory databases to use. But um, if you wanted to use something like uh, EcoInvent, you'd have to pay for it separately um, through OpenLCA. Um, anyway, then what you're going to want to do is come into data.gov, a place you may not have even known existed. Um, and you could probably go down some rabbit holes seeing other stuff. But what I'm going to do is just search for EIO, EEIOLCA. Let's see if this works. It's been a while since I've done this too. Uh, nothing found. So I'm going to add a space maybe. Oh. <sighs> Wow, it's a slow search. There we go. All right, so add the space. <laughs> and you'll see the first thing that pops up here is what we need. Uh, so we're going to click on this. And this input output, environmentally extended input output model is um, kind of owned by the EPA. And you can download it here. Um, and I'm going to once again kind of leave you to figure out exactly how to install it. But once you have it um, on your computer, you can open it in OpenLCA. And OpenLCA has a lot of tutorials and stuff online. So um, hopefully you'll be able to figure that part out. And this is a rem remote desktop for me. So it's a little bit funky for viewing. I'm going to maybe share just that remote desktop so you can hopefully see it better. Um, all right, so this is what OpenLCA looks like. Most of you have been using SEMA Pro and OpenLCA runs a little bit differently. Um, so what you often do in OpenLCA is you import um, essentially like a database. And here I have EIOLCA. Um, I could do combination of uh, databases here. Um, I also have EcoInvent installed, which you guys probably won't, but um, you know, I was teaching this to students a while ago and um, it's arranged a little bit differently, but this is the EcoInvent data that you've been using in SEMA Pro. But I'm going to come into the EIOLCA because that's what we're really talking about. Um, and you can see there's layers here. There's flows, processes, products, systems, and projects. So it has that same like from the bottom to the top uh, kind of feel that SEMA Pro does, but it is structured a little bit differently. So if I open up flows, you can see there's technosphere flows and elementary flows. It's got things separated out. Um, these are like the emissions. So this is a little bit lower down the totem pole than what you typically see in EcoInvent and Seaman Pro. Um, the processes are probably where you're going to do most of your digging. Um, and what you'll notice here is it's got all these numbers. And if you'll remember from the slides, these numbers, like if we come to manufacturing here, those are actually part of the NAICS codes that are the structure, the backbone for the IO model. Um, and so processes you can think of as a unit process level where the flows are um, one layer deeper than the unit processes. Product systems it would be where you design individual products. And then the project is where you might compare certain products, right? So it's, it's got this structure to it in OpenLCA. Um, I'm just going to look for specific sectors. And I can do this either by just playing around in this list, or I can go to a website and Google makes codes for the healthcare space and just see what I might be looking at. Um, so if I open this up, yikes, there are a lot of different manufacturing things going on here. Um, and so let's see here, we have industrial machinery. I'm going to double click this so you get a different screen over here. <laughs> um, machinery for the paper textile industry. All right. So here I've opened up some information on this particular process. Um, and you can see it's got some NAICS code information here and a little definition of that particular sector. So it's food product machinery, printing machinery, textile machinery, paper and machinery. So you can see that this particular sector is actually pretty aggregated, right? Um, 
that this includes a lot of different commodity products. Um, and that's okay. It's just a note um, that, you know, it's, it's uh, highly aggregated data. And here you can see your inputs and your outputs if you want to check that out. It's all US dollars for the inputs and the outputs are all um, uh, different types of emissions. And so I'll let you play around with that if you want. If I wanted to find pharmaceutical manufacturing, so this is kind of the interesting thing, you can randomly go and find it, <laughs> which I've got here. Um, or you can probably, I think there is a way to search. I just don't remember how to do it. Um, <laughs> I find the easiest way is to probably open up a website and look for um, NAICS codes for pharmaceuticals, for example. And so here, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make this a little wider. So this is pharmaceutical medicine manufacturing. And we've got this stuff here, pharmaceutical products at manufacturer. So maybe this is one that would be good to analyze. Um, and it seems like, Lyle's on his power suspensions. This would probably work for quite a few things. Um, it's botanical ingredients at manufacturer. So there might be some other um, pharmaceutical things that we want to look into. There's healthcare and social assistance here. So I'm just going to open up that one. Offices, offices, outpatient care, diagnostics, nursing, community food, home health care. I'm just going to go into the laboratories. That's just laboratories. Outpatient care is just outpatient care. Um, so these are more like services. And I don't think they really include the um, uh, pharmaceutical space. Anyway, so let me use transportation, retail trade. You can see some of these don't have a lot of, like wholesale trade is just wholesale trade. They don't have a lot of sub sections. Um, let me see here. So I'm just going to run through this really quick and make sure there's no other pharmaceutical ones that look interesting. I'm just surprised there's not like liquid pharmaceuticals here. In the past, I've mostly only seen um, these pharmaceuticals in general and not this much specificity, which is nice. So ingredients, blood sugar, pregnancy, and other diagnostic test kits. Interesting deviation there. Um, all right, or delineation rather than deviation. Sorry, I'm just reading through these really quickly. You get to bear with me on this. So many different sectors. And again, this is where Googling it is probably gonna be the most helpful. Um, so let's go with this pharmaceutical products and um, I'm going to click on direct calculation here, but I suspect I'm going to have to create a product system first. Um, this only gives correct results when there are unambiguous links between the processes. Uh, let's try it and see what happens. <laughs> so here you can see it's got um, Tracy selected. And I'm going to do an analysis. I could just do quick results, I think, and that would probably be sufficient. I'm not going to do any normalization, no allocation, and we'll see how this goes. So it's running the calculation. And here we have some really quick results. Um, you can see it's got kind of like all these sectors subdivided. So I'm going to click on this and just look at global warming, right? So electricity seems to be a big factor, and then there's other. Um, but it's not giving us like a total number here. Um, inventory results, that's general information. Here's our impact analysis. If we bring this in. There's not really numbers in here, which I find interesting. Ah, there they are, impact results. So here are our values, the same as what we would get out of SEMA Pro, where for, this is now $1 of spend, I believe. Um, let me make sure. Yep, one, one US dollar of spend, that's the target amount, results in, where's global warming? 0.186 kilos of CO2e um, for the greenhouse gas emissions. And so, could be incredibly useful information. Um, what I'm gonna do, I can um, either export or I believe this button here will, will also help. I can download that information wherever I need it and then I'll have it to scale up linearly if I want or I could build the model in here if I knew um, the dollar spend again in 2013 um, for this particular uh, you know, process that I'm looking at. So anyway, that's like a, a very high level overview of how these models work. Um, they can be useful, particularly um, in the healthcare space where you may not have um, all the products well-defined. So keep it in mind and hopefully hopefully this 
little presentation has helped kind of open up some options for you.